Hello and welcome to another Ableton Live native device tutorial. This is Dan from Medium Academy and today I'm going to walk you through the entirety of the Corpus device. This is a complicated device that models the acoustic properties of several different materials and allows you to apply them to other sounds. With this device you can add many different sonic characteristics to your percussion or you can use it to create funky sounding reverb effects on your other instruments. Let's get started. There are many sections within the Corpus device, each with many different options. Let's look at this middle section first, which controls the main characteristics of this device's sound. The best way to understand the function of Corpus is to imagine the device itself as a sort of material or object that is being struck by something, and the audio you're running through it as the thing doing the actual striking. If we open this drop-down menu, we see seven different materials that we can choose for Corpus to model. If I choose plate and then play this snare drum sound I have loaded into the track, it will sound as though our snare is actually hitting a metal plate. Aside from the plate sound, Corpus includes models for beam, marimba, string, membrane, pipe, and tube sounds. Now that we know how Corpus functions, Let's take a closer look at each acoustic model. As I choose the beam model, you'll notice that a few of the knobs change. A few of the controls are shared between model types, but many of them are unique to each model. As implied in the name, the beam model simulates the sound of a metal or wooden beam. Let's take a look at the controls within this material. The material knob controls the balance of high and low frequency decay within the material. When turned towards the right, the lower frequencies decay quickly while higher frequencies sustain. This results in a more metallic sounding material. When turned towards the left, this effect is inversed, resulting in a more woodish or rubbery sound. The decay knob controls the overall time it takes for the material to decay. The brightness knob controls the color of the overall sound. Higher values will have more high frequencies. The inharmonics knob controls the pitch of the material's harmonics. Lower values add more low frequency harmonics, and higher values add higher harmonics. Next are the listening position knobs. Imagine that the material is being recorded by two separate microphones. The listening position knobs control how close these two mics are to the center of the object. When they are both at 0%, the sound being picked up is recorded only from the center. If I move the left knob to 100%, we can hear a distinct difference to the sound in the left speaker channel. Similar to the previous knobs, the hit knob controls how closely to the edge the material is struck. The next two material models feature the same controls as the beam material, however they each offer a different sound. The marimba essentially lets you play a marimba instrument with any sound acting as the mallet. The string sound models the sound of a string being plucked or struck. The membrane and plate materials feature an additional knob called ratio. This knob controls the size proportions of the material itself. For example, at high values the material will sound as though it is long and rectangular. At low values it will sound as though it is evenly square or circular. In the pipe and tube options, the material knob is changed into a radius knob. 
This knob controls how wide the radius of the pipe or tube is. You'll also notice that the listening position and hit knobs are disabled, as well as the brightness and ratio knobs. The opening knob controls how open the pipe material is. At 0%, the pipe is closed on one side, and at 100%, the pipe is open on both sides. On the tube material, the opening knob is disabled. Lastly, the second drop-down menu allows you to select between four different quality levels for your material. The pipe and tube materials are unaffected by this feature. Okay, that covers everything in the material section. In part two, I'm going to cover the remaining features of the device.